Well, we're in the uh, village of Denham, um, near Barra, in uh, Suffolk, and this is the uh, Church of St. Mary. Well, from this angle it looks unlike any church that we've seen, but let's have a look at the rest of it. Well, here we've got, um, well, just stop here for a second at this angle. We can see what looks like the old original church building with this um, quite modern looking brick uh, extension. Let's have a look and uh, around this way and see. Well we've made our way around here and now we see what we're looking at. This is a really lovely old village church look. It's got a the main building with a tower in front and then it's got this rear extension. And it's got the little vestibule, a little porch at the front or at the side there. And of course that modern extension to the back. I have to say it looks odd, but um, until we go around and have a look at the other side there properly, it's difficult to judge. So there's quite a few old headstones and graves here and the grass is certainly well kept it's very neat here sad again crosses that are covered in moss and broken and fallen and lying there a lot of moss here of course this is a very very damp day today this is the first of November and we're now getting into the damp and dismal actually autumn weather this is not a sunny autumn day but the church still looks lovely anyway let's have a look around the other side so if we come around to this side of the church here in front of the tower we get a much better view of what's been happening here there's obviously now been this big extension built to the uh, rear of the church to one side. Very strange though, I mean it's, it's very odd. But then it also looks as if there has been some previous work or changes to the church over the years on this side. Just have a walk over there and have a look. Small doorway there that, that's been bricked in and it looks like there's been some changes or work done on the wall where that window is but that extension is very odd certainly odd and how it's positioned it's an extension that's been added to the rear part of the church the rear extension of the church it certainly looks odd I have to say but the churchyard is lovely and it's, it's very neatly kept in grass and the graves are all very neat. There's one here that um, has been seriously overgrown. It's probably got railings in it, and that's usually the case, but they, yes, they uh, find it difficult, obviously, to keep it. But I can't see any sign of anything there. So here we get a view of that tower and that extension is also odd because it hasn't got any windows at the the end they're only it's only at the side there so have a look around the other side of the church again yes yeah, so here at the base of the tower we've got a, a single grave here with this cross covered in moss or lichen. You can see the tower and the tower is lovely. It's got this beautiful large window and then above it there's a slitted grate and belfry grates. It's in lovely condition. Beautiful. And the land just rises up slightly 
to this side of the church. We've got houses surrounding the church here, quite close, but um, they're all fairly new, so I suspect that in uh, uh, the past this church was in a much more remote place than it is now, with fields around it. So the churchyard here that is fairly clear of old graves, really. A lot of new ones here with flowers that have been left and just a few old headstones still here. And a very neat gravel path leading up to the uh, side gate. Some Headstones are remains of cross there that are uh, cross that's leaning up against the tower. The porch is looks like it's been repaired or it's not that old. I think it's basically an old porch that's been repaired. There's been a lot of work by the look of it done on this flint work here. But these little heads are in lovely condition. Yeah, I mean the in, the inside of this porch here looks quite old. Some lovely little flower arrangement there, and some more flowers here. Unfortunately, this is another locked church, which sadly we won't be able to um, to see. flowers it's beautiful it's really nice but unfortunately we can't see the church so we we shut this up another sad state of affairs a Suffolk church that we cannot have a look at see if we can see anything through the windows here looks fairly difficult to see through. No, we won't be able to see anything through that window. We'll try another. So that uh, is a view of some of the church. We can uh, try another couple of windows and see what we can see. That way we might get an idea of what it's like. So this extension, which looks as if it's fairly large, holds a memorial to a local man who lived at Denham Hall. Have a look and see what we can see here. But we've tried to um, see if there was a key, key holder, but uh, there's no one available. So it's all very sad when we find lovely church that we would like to see inside and film. And also a church that looks extremely interesting. Um, it, there is no easy way of getting a key to this church. 
or getting anyone to show it to us. Apparently it's got an interesting um, aspect in that as much as the extension is people say as large as the church, the old church itself. So we'll have a look and see what other windows we can have a look but these ones that are frosted over with stained glass are not um, we're not able to look through them There's, they're just too opaque well it's sad really that's another church in Suffolk that we're not able to film inside but I think the thing that uh, is even sadder is that it's extremely difficult to impossible to actually find a key holder or anyone that will allow you access and considering that we're trying to build up a record of these churches it doesn't help help us much at all so here's a church that we um, get a view of the outside of, it looks very nice but there's uh, no record then of the inside very upsetting <laughs>